Purple Eyes will be on this Sunday, the scoring pylon at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Dedicated racing fans might know this is the third pylon to stand next to the track. The original pylon went up in 1959. And in tonight's trip through the RTV Sick Ar Ar archives, we're going back to 1977 for a look at what it took to keep that original pylon running before and during the Indy 500. To race fans, it's the most famous scoreboard in racing history. But to the men who have to take care of it, Tower 33 is a headache. They say that there's a circuit out on the west side. 7,300 light bulbs going straight up on four sides. And the only way to get to them, a small ladder that runs up the middle of the tower, along with all the cables needed to make the bulbs do what they're supposed to. And when a bulb burns out, you don't just pop in a new one either. Imagine how much fun this is when the race is about half over and the bulbs have been burning hot for a while. Fred Fields has been getting the tower and the other three scoreboards in shape for 15 years now. So you could figure he's seen a lot of races. How many times have you seen a race? Never. Not actually all the way through. I've seen uh, the starting lap or the parade lap and then uh, the main lap, first lap, and then after that our work begins. We don't get to see any more of the race. The controls for all this, miles of cable away from the scoreboards themselves, are here in the control tower. Six weeks before race day, people begin hooking it all up. So when a number is punched on the buttons up here, they show off the way they're supposed to down there. Well, the original pylon stood for 35 races. After the 1993 race, work began to replace the original pylon with something safer and easier to repair. The replacement for this board will be uh, a much more modern and updated version. It's a, it's a lot more manageable from a maintenance and uh, operation standpoint. The second Speedway pylon stood for 20 years until 2014. It was replaced by the current pylon featuring LED panels and video capability. The third pylon is 14 feet taller than the original at 92 feet. We'll learn more about the history of Indianapolis and RTV6 during our one hour special one week from tonight. Watch 70 years together RTV6 working for you on May 30th at 7 p.m.